everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to embed a native mac os view inside your flutter app for mac os now i know what most of you might be thinking like why should we do this like uh, we don't need this because flutter is a ui framework and you can achieve anything with it that's true but uh, i will tell you my case like i'm an average developer and if you tell me to ask uh, like you uh, if you ask me to draw some kind of a chart without using any third party library in flutter i won't be able to do it even if i use some third party library uh, i don't want to rely on others code like uh, people who have uh, like uh, this i don't really trust this third party library because uh, if you uh, work in big companies they uh, like google facebook they don't use third party libraries and uh, another uh, example i would say is that like apple have already provided swift ui charts which are beautiful charts both for ios mac os uh, i think it works for watch os as well so uh, i would trust apple more because they their code would have less bugs as compared to uh, someone else uh, because apple is a big company there would be a lot of developers working on that uh, again uh, that's my thinking if you feel like uh, this is an overkill uh, you can just stick with flutter as well but yeah it is what it is uh, use whatever makes sense to you so here i will sh this is a mac os app for flutter like i'm using flutter and this hello world from flutter mac os which you see this label uh, this is a native mac os view now in this case this is a very simple thing which we can do with flutter as well again for more complex thing if there is some um, a view which is av already available on native side uh, we should should be able to use it on flutter side as well without uh, doing too much of effort so that's my thinking again uh, let's get started so firstly what i have done is that i have created a flutter project then i have refactored my home page widget so if you see the home page widget it takes a safe area it has a scaffold at the top a safe area then it has center widget then a column then i have taken two spacers so that my mac os view which is a native view uh, comes at the very center and you also have to wrap your mac os view inside a size box like i have tried without size box as well but it uh, gives some kind of an error like uh, the like the view is um, ex exceeding the windows width and height even though it is not uh, that's why i have to wrap this inside a size box uh, so yeah first next we have to create this my mac os view dot dart file first we will have to give this identifier and same identifier we have to use it on native mac os side as well i have uh, named this as my mac os view which i am using it inside main dot dart and here i have just ex made it a stateful widget uh, and if you can keep it a stateless widget as well but typically what would happen is that you would uh, sending some data from flutter side to mac os side or to the mac os view that's why i have kept it as stateful widget but you can keep it as stateless widget as well and here i'm just checking if the platform which you are running in is on is a mac os then use this app kit view otherwise i'm just displaying a placeholder i also have videos on how to embed native android and native ios view in a flutter app so in case if you are curious you can watch that as well and here i have uh, given the view type as my mac os view same identifier layout direction is left to right uh, creation params is typically used whenever you want to send some data from flutter to native mac os side but here i am not sending it so i am kept it as null and creation param codec standard message codec okay uh, next what you'll have to do you will have to open mac os uh, go to the uh, uh, directory or folder and open mac os and you will have to open the xc workspace inside xcode so i already have that open uh, the first thing you will have to do is go to main flutter window and here this is now boilerplate code which you have to write okay the important thing which you will have to remember is uh, again ignore this error like this is an xcode issue it is not really an error this identifier should be the same whatever you have written over here so it is the same identifier which i am using second important thing is uh, this should be a swift file so i have created a swift file called my mac os view native effect you can name it whatever you feel like so these are the only two important things otherwise this is just boilerplate code which you have to write for embedding any kind of a native mac os view inside your flutter app okay uh, so you can just copy paste this change the identifier change this file if you are naming it it differently 
uh, and here I have created a Swift file called Mac my Mac OS view native view factory again a lot of boilerplate code which you have to write just add this import add this Mac OS flutter Mac OS and Coco and here uh, we are creating our messenger again boilerplate which you have to write for every native Mac OS view similarly for this as well boilerplate code which you have to write the important thing is here we have we are overriding this create method and it takes an NS view so here you can uh, pass whatever native Mac OS you you want to uh, embed inside your flutter app so here I have taken uh, NS text field basically this is a label but there is no such thing as label inside a native Mac OS you have to use NS text field itself so here I'm just saying hello world from uh, flutter Mac OS I've set the alignment color font as well and frame as well and I'm just returning that label so pretty simple uh, that's how you, you embed a native macOS view inside flutter for macOS thank you for watching bye